Yeah, well, powertrain is the, is the, has the air
<laughs> I swear. It's okay. <laughs> Do you know where Bullfest is going? Yeah. Where are they going? The Meadowlands Racetrack. Really? Yeah. They're going to be there at noon, so if you want to appear. Hmm. I just didn't get that information. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Even I'm not supposed to know. Are you going to go? Oh, hell yeah. Really I didn't cool. know there was a racetrack there. Yeah. Meadowlands Racetrack, it's really? Like East Rutherford. Yeah. There's an actual racetrack there? Apparently. It might be just one of those little ones. You know? Yeah.
I'm going to leave. It's like, so far it's like, it's like two hours before that. Yeah. Well, I have a friend at Montauk, so I'll probably make a trip around and go up there. Do you like a Representatives, both of, uh, of, I mean, look at them. I mean, you talk about heavy patina. That's okay. We don't care about this. Is so. Break down of this car. <laughs> persane. This is a persane. That's correct. Pure, which means pure heart. Um, who, who is it that did a test drive of this not too long ago? Uh, Chris Harris did. Did you see that YouTube video? And Jay, Jay Leno drives one of these. And I'll tell you something. Those two guys said it's so much fun to drive. Absolutely. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be more exciting. That makes you have... Now let, let's follow the sequence because there is a bit of a sequence, correct? Absolutely. Do you have to prime? It's called what? Oh. Right? I have to pump it a few times slowly, right, as he's doing right now. Gas line's got to be turned on, I can see that, yep. Battery contact has also have to be done, we have a switch for that. The passenger knows what he's doing, maybe. Uh, that's okay, obviously re the retard the timing like we did in the early cars. I did, so I, I retard the timing on my Model A, okay, so, you know. Fire it. Here we go, kids. We need a round of applause when this happens. Yeah, let's hear it. Supercharged. Amazing. But, I mean, it sounds like a contemporary engine. It doesn't sound like some, you know. Are we ready? Let's make room, folks. Thank you. Sir Charles. Selecting gears. It's there somewhere. Yes, it is. There it is. Brilliant. Thanks so much. You are the best. Awesome. Rossi, the Joe Rossi. That one was special equipment. 120, also in the same color as that 120 that just left. Hi. This is an interesting car. We've had this car capping in carburetors before. An original BMW 16. This is like the coolest hot rod thing happening here. Classic. once again, but the, the detail and the paintwork and the luxury and the beauty of this, it's one of the most pretty cars. Just look how beautiful this car really is. And look at the attention to detail in this XK150 to the leather interior. 
Well, the ultimate art, art in motion. Talk about art in motion. Uh, Pagani is the execution, the, the, the grand ass of the styling. Just, just amazing. Hey, folks, let's just make some room here. I got it. I got it. We're good. Yep. These cars attract amazing attention uh, whenever they're displayed uh, because look what goes in. Look at the jewelry. Let's let's put it that way. I think he's got it, Matthew. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Let's see. Yeah, you bet. Beautiful. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. These are the furthest extension of, of automobile technology and design. Really, it's nothing quite like them. That's good. Oh yeah, that's that's a great car. Yeah, my unfortunately, I might my. It's a funny Wyra. It's called. White run. We also have an incredible Ferrari California. I don't know if you've seen that car. That car resides, I believe sometimes that car resides in Fisher's Island, New York, but it's here today. Check it out. Yeah. Wow. It's a hybrid, folks. R32. R35 is the GTR. V8, V8. Yep, it does. It's got a Daytona esque. Uh, absolutely, but that was, of course, 12 cylinder. Front engine, rear drive. Pretty. Just, yeah, just a GT, and there's nothing just about it. That's perfectly. Yes, you do. Philip, let's hear it. Yes. Tip for up, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Look at that beautiful, good job. Actually, you've got a really nice job.
It. We got uh, yeah, the P1. Connor, watch his lower splitter. Watch his splitter. This is obviously uh, one of the most significant high performance automobiles ever made. They only made a certain number of P1s. Paul, thank you, pal. Same name. Yep. McLaren P1. Just about 900 horsepower or so. A thousand horsepower coming from that same stable, the W16. 16 cylinders, enough for you? Yep. Gentlemen, got him, Aaron. Just absolutely perfect. Quiet, subtle, like a sledgehammer. We only made a certain number of P1s. Paul, thank you, pal. See you, man. Yep. McLaren P1. Just about. Gotti Bayron, just absolutely perfect. Quiet, subtle, like a sledgehammer. Beautiful ex -flip. look, look at the execution, the, the elegance and brilliant restoration of that 150S. Execution and the elegance and brilliant. TBR stands for Trevor. First name of the gentleman who American, dedicated American show cruise night. You're not going to see one of these. Roger, forget about it. Forget about it. Targas. Love the Targa. Targas, like I said, when I was down at the Porsche supplies, are really, people in Europe want to buy those right now. Maybe. Look at Matthew. Look at this carpet. It's three inches thick. Oh, that's where it's happening back there, baby. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Thanks, man. So cool. Another E30 M3. It's not red. Seriously. You just don't see too many of them. More so nowadays, but... Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's a 430, a Chevy truck, series, one, it's a one, man, Doug, Doug Zimbach loves the trucks, loves it, beautiful Ford Custom, look at the color, that's a one, two, three, four, four, five window, five window, another Marinello, not only did we have one, two, three, but I think we had like five or six beautiful uh, Marinello, Marinello and, and another six-speed as well. Dino, named after, of course, the late uh, Dino Ferrari. 570 yet. Still a 3.8. Wow. And losing power.
mid rise and a bigger carburetor on that. Never saw that. These are great. This is a 78, right? It's all original or what? Looks like it. Little work on the engine. Pretty much all stock. Yeah, nice car. Guys, I think it handles pretty good, doesn't it? You have brakes on there, disc brakes on there. Like inboard disc brakes on that thing. Any rickety thing. These things are, you know, these things are like 700 bucks now. They're not cheap anymore. I have that Pruya, whatever. Pruya, Pruya. Cost about 50 bucks. Chevrolet 30s. <laughs> Is this all this is all pretty it's a recent restoration? Is this original? A 20 year old restoration on that beautiful I mean look at that. Yeah! Look at his license plate. Rush store, this good thing's so awesome. They always break cool shit. Do you realize that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Five twelve. Boxer. This. F512M. Wow. Yeah, again, very rare to see a fuck. Long and gorgeous. Careful with it. Starting to lose my chain of thought. Very fine. You know what? We've had more non red <laughs> Oh, yeah. Out of the coat. Wow. LED lights back here, and an Aunt Jacob car, Harry Dog Garage. Beautiful. Here it is. That's the, really the star of our show, ladies and gentlemen. The Mura, the 67 barn fine driver. Please, a round of applause. You have no idea. It's not easy getting a car like this here. That car is original. Look at it. There are very few survivor. It's a barn fine car. And there it is. Look at the exhaust. It shows wear and tear.